place value up to 1000. Without place value our numbers would have no meaning. I'm going to show you what I mean with reading this number here. So if I read this number without place value it would be like this 2453. With place value it would be like this 2453. So there's a big difference between 2453 and 2453. That's because of place value. Place value gives our numbers meaning. So let's take this number here and we'll put it into the place value grid. So because we read it like this 2453 that's why I put it in in that order. So we read numbers the same as we read words. When we start at the right, correction, we start at the left and we go right. So we start at the left and we go right. Same as we would do our reading. Look up here, place value up to 1000, left to right. Okay, so when you put the individual digits into the place value chart this is what you've got three ones five tens four hundreds and two thousand and notice when you look up at the top it starts with ones then you add a zero means tens you add another zero for hundreds you add another zero for thousands so this tells us that our whole number system is based on going up in sets of ten so ten ones we move up to tens. Ten tens, we move up to hundreds. Ten hundreds, we move up to thousands. And that's how it works. So, let's take this number here, 3675. So, it means 3,675. Three thousands, six hundreds, seven tens, five ones. Here's another one. One thousand seven hundred and eighty six. And that's how it works. So whenever we read we start on the left of the number and we read towards the right. If it was a number like this, eighty six, we'd start again. Eighty six second number along goes in the second place 86 if we go like this 6 we read it as 6 so that means that it's still in the first place value so over we go and put it in here so if I say the third place value what I mean is 1 2 3 the hundreds the second place value 1 2 the tens the first place value one that means it's in the ones so there we go place value up to 1000 that's it for now